And it goes a little yeah. something like So just a shambles. We died so much, and I am so sick of dying. You see, these here diamonds, they don't grow on trees. And it costs so many diamonds just to replace all my gear. So, that's why I built this place. In here, there's going to be some armorers, and there's going to be some um, weaponsmiths and stuff like that. It's going to be the same sort of situation as the library. So they're just going to be running around free. I'll, I'll set up some some stations and that kind of thing where they can reset their trades and that kind of thing all day long as often as they want. And that way we'll be able to hopefully get some some really good trades for like a single diamond. So imagine like replacing a, a diamond pickaxe, pickaxe, enchanted diamond pickaxe with only one diamond. How good would that be? So that's on the agenda for today. We've also got to put a button on this door so I can get out. Uh, we've also got uh, all these shulker boxes, and I want to show you my shulker unloaded design, which is going to go in this little space here, as well as a few other things. So, without uh, further ado, let's let's get into the episode, shall we? So, I had a little bit of a problem, and the bamboo farm just was not producing enough fuel for the furnaces. So, I've got a quadrupled production on the bamboo. Uh... Yeah, so this is the same sort of a farm design as the sugarcane farm we have way over there. Uh, and it it's not completely lossless because bamboo falls straight down. So, um, But anyway, so what happens is there is a zombie. Where is this zombie? Oh, oh, it's okay. This is okay. This is fine. Boom. Straight in the head. Boom. Headshot. Uh, anyway, yeah. So we can get to like, we can get like 40 bamboo at once if it all grows and cuts off at the same time. Uh, same design, one observer at one end, and then redstone just runs straight through on top of all the all the pistons. It's quite simple. Uh, also, I did I did tell you guys that I was going to make a system so that I could either put get the the furnace to put stuff in here or put it in my storage system. And this is that system. It's just a simple lever. So if I want it, the output chest up. If I want it in the storage, it goes down. And I'll show you how that works. That lever controls this piston here, nicely hidden in the wall there. And then that piston pushes this redstone uh, block up and down. So right now it's powered, which makes the turns on this red turns off this redstone lamp, which allows stuff to go down and into the storage system instead of going through into this dropper elevator. Very simple, uh, using the premise that. That items will go down before they go across in hoppers. It's very, uh, very simple. Yeah, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. So I've gone and made another, another four modules of this bamboo farm. I changed it up a little bit. I got rid of the water, and I added the bars. The bars just stop the bamboo from shooting out over there. Anyway, it's very cheap to make. It's uh, ten pistons per per run an observer and I think like 13 redstone dust. It's not not very expensive at all. The hoppers and eh, the hoppers whatever. We we've got a we got ourselves our fantastic iron farm so we can have as many hoppers as we like. Um we have a potential 80 uh 80 bamboo per uh full run of this. So uh the eight modules will 
push out 10 minimum. Mm, possibly minimum. The, the 10, well, let's watch this one. That'll be just about, so that's all of them except for this one here to grow. Let's just sit here and see what happens. Any time now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Are you serious? Are you serious? This is ridiculous. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so how much did we lose? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's not too bad. Six out of six out of twenty we lost. So it's it's not completely lossless and there are there are things that lie on the ground. If anybody can tell me a way of uh stopping that from happening, let me know. All right, so let's get on to the shulker box unloader. Now, I'm pretty lazy as far as organizing stuff. So I like it if I can just dump all my shulker boxes into a, into a single machine and it can sort between uh, full shulker boxes, empty shulker boxes, and it doesn't stop itself. And, you know, it's all, it's all pretty good. So I made a design. I worked on somebody else's design and just made it better for, for myself. Feel free to use this design. Um, we're going to do the tutorial on this. So I haven't done a, tu a redstone tutorial in a while. So let's do that. Okay, so everything you need for this build is inside this shulker box here. The blue, the, the wool is just there for sort of um, building blocks. And I can show you the difference between different circuits. Okay, so we're going to break this chest and get straight into it. First of all, you want to place down two hoppers, one for your shulker boxes and one for your bits. Then from the on the back here, we'll grab our brown wool. We'll go one with a comparator on top. We'll get down here, shift, click, put our redstone torch on top of that one. Some wool on there with a repeater on there and some wool on that one. What this circuit is going to do is it's going to fire our shulker boxes from the dispenser. So it's got to be a dispenser. It cannot be a dropper. Um, which And it's going to fire it onto there, which will suck out all the items. The comparator here is going to pick up uh, a signal from the, the shulker box, which will turn off this torch. Uh, and when that torch gets turned back on, it will uh, power the note block here because the note block is going to have redstone on top. The observer is going to see they get powered and our store or standard normal piston is going to push that, push that shulker box into this hopper here. This circuit can go that way or that way. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to go that way because it's just the way that it's going to be for me. That's pretty much all you need if you wanted to have a manual system. You put a button on there you, when, whenever you get your shulker boxes in there. Uh, press it once and it will keep firing until, and, until such time as you don't have any more in there. We don't want a manual system. So we're going to go like this and we're going to have that wall there. On top of that wall, we're going to have another comparator. The comparator will be able to read the power from this dispenser here. And we'll go like that. And we'll get blue all there and there. We'll go redstone repeater and redstone dust. And a boom, like that. And what that is, is that makes it automatic. So as soon as you get a, a shulker box inside there, it'll fire. It will fire. It didn't fire. Why didn't it fire? Confusion. Confusion. Why did that not fire? Um, uh, I am visibly confused. <laughs> that should have gone. Should have turned that torch off for a second. That didn't work. Why didn't that work? Anyway, that doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, maybe it needs to be in normal mode. Oh, uh, like that. Don't know why that's not working. But like I said, that doesn't matter because that's not 
important. Anyway, so that's the final design for um, for this. If 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 you wanted it to be automatic, I don't know why that's not working, but it doesn't matter. What I needed to do was add functionality for for empty shulker boxes because you know, like I said, lazy. So we're gonna do this like that, and we're gonna add a sticky piston there, and we're gonna go like this: one, two. Three, four. We're gonna have two, three redstone dust. Uh, and to power that piston, we go one, two, three. There, and we're gonna have a redstone repeater and some redstone dust and a redstone torch, like that. So that now, when you put this in, hopefully it's gonna work. Please tell me. Yeah, there you go. It fires that empty shulker box. The problem with that is it doesn't fire it into this hopper here. It's into that one. So to sort that out, we need to go like this and we'll dig this out here. Like this and we'll just add some red wool because it's redstone, so this is what we do. We're gonna have a one there. We're gonna have redstone, redstone, and we're gonna have like this, like this, and like this, and we're gonna go like this. Why do I have redstone left over? What have I forgotten? Nothing by the looks of things, one there. Uh, One extra, that's fine. That's fine, okay, so now we have functionality for empty, shulker boxes and we're not going to put it into there because look what happens here we go like that boom because that hopper's been locked it pushes it across into this hopper and that's the whole system look i'll even show you with this other shulker box that i've prepared earlier we'll go like this uh we'll put all that stuff into there so it can different it does differentiate between Full ones and empty ones. Empty one, pushed across. Full one, stays. And there is a little bit of, of of a delay using this because it does lock the hopper for a little bit. So it does slow down the, the pulling of the items out of the shulker box, but that's fine because, I mean, it's it's kind of like a dump it and you walk away and do your own thing. So that's the whole system. It's It's very simple. Uh, and then just to top it off, we want to go like that. And then we want to put a chest on top. Why did I do this last? It's fine, like this. And that's it. That's your input for your shulker boxes. And your outputs can go wherever you want them to. Um, so that's that's kind of my first proper redstone tutorial for a little contraption, I think. I know that the original design didn't actually work, but that's fine because we weren't going to go for that anyway. It was just going to show you the different stages of how these things work. Uh, any, if you have any questions, just just let me know, and I will um, I'll try to answer them. Like I said before, this isn't my design. I did adapt it from somebody else's. The functionality for empty shulker boxes is my design. I added these two uh, two circuits here, but as always, I'm standing on the shoulders of of people who are much smarter than me and they, they designed this whole thing, the, the majority of this whole thing before I even started. So um, thanks. So, let's, so we're, we're going to build a, a, a building around this now so that we can um, make it look pretty. So I've only just gone and finished building and prettifying the um, Joker unloader and I think this looks, this looks quite nice. Uh, let's take a look at it from the sky. At least from over here. Goes all the way back to the mountain, so you know that's that little. I don't know. I like a little bit of fence monument thing. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. I've just thought, you know what? Let's do something about that. Um, goes all the way back, and can't see here, but I've connected up the uh, hoppers as well. So emptied all these shulker boxes out. It's working pretty efficiently, if you ask me. Um, 
But I didn't I didn't do a time lapse on that, and I feel bad about it because I didn't do a time lapse last episode. So I'm gonna do a time lapse in this episode, uh, and it's gonna be a big one, a building one, uh, just beautification really of this place. So um, if you wanna if you wanna stick around and watch this, then that'd be really nice. Thanks. Anyway, here we go. this build here and I think it's gonna be quite a good build uh, if I can if I could get around to finishing it the problem is I run out of time for this episode and I uh, don't know how to say this but I'm gonna finish this series here today it is now the 23rd of November and I need to have a little break before 1.18 comes out because I'm joining another server. Um, it's called Ender MC, and it's full of incredible builders and incredible redstoners. And I'm super excited to join. So this isn't going to be the end of this world. I'm going to keep this world, and I will still do episodes from here. But it will be very, very uh, sporadic. I will upload this world up to the uh, on, on, on online so that you can download it and play around it yourself. But I really would like to thank everybody who has joined me on the on the journey. Um, and I, we will definitely be coming back to this world. I promise you. How about we just sit here together and and we'll watch the sun go down. And I'll be back. I'll be back shortly with with more videos. But it'll be on on the server. It'll be a brand new thing, and it, it's going to be really incredible. Really, really want to thank every single one of you who has has joined me on this journey. Fourteen episodes is the, the longest I've done a series for, so that's you know that's something. But I, I, I enjoy the, the server play and and it's it's something that I, I, I need to do. I need to do this. But we will come back to this. Don't worry. I promise you we will come back to this world. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching and I, I, I'll see you all. I'll see you all on the next one. Good luck and goodbye. See you all in 1.18. Let's go. Seriously though, I really appreciate every single view, every single comment, every single like. As a small YouTuber, every small thing counts. So 
when I see stuff like that, it just makes me so happy. I'm looking forward to the opportunities that I'm going to get on this on this server. There's a lot of content creators on there, and I'll link them in each video that I do on there. So if you'd like to come along with me, feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell, do whatever you want. If you don't want to, I'm not going to force you. It's your choice. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. Really appreciate everything. I love you guys.